Hello, um, I am Guillaume Large, uh, winemaker uh, at Resonance in uh, Carlton, in uh, Yamil Carlton AVA, Willamette Valley in Oregon. Uh, today my uh, vino lingo is franc de pied. It's a French expression uh, meaning ungrafted, unrooted vines. And this is something uh, I have the chance to uh, work with in our vineyard, Resonance Vineyard in, uh, in uh, Yamil Carlton AVA. Front de pied means that the vines are still vitis vinifera uh, without rootstock, without American rootstock, like we had in Europe before the phylloxera crisis uh, at the end, uh, second half of the 19th century. Um, front de pied means that there is a direct link between the roots and the fruit. That means the expression of the place will be pure, will be probably unique. And uh, the chance we have in this vineyard uh, to farm without phylloxera uh, being present, without contamination, that means we understand clearly uh, the expression, the place. Uh, so it's very interesting to farm such vineyard. Uh, we have to be vigilant. We have to take care of this vineyard to make sure uh, these microscopic bugs, the phylloxera, will not come, will not be introduced, uh, because then you know that uh, the vineyard will be uh, step by step um, affected by the phylloxera. This bug loving uh, the roots of the vines and step by step killing the vines. So this is why if the phylloxera is present, you have no option than removing these vitis vinifera, this European variety producing fruit and replacing with grafted vines, meaning American rootstock on a piece of uh, European variety on the top producing fruit. The American rootstock are not uh, attacked by the phylloxera, the big problem, uh, American variety don't produce any fruit. So not the best way to, to grow uh, fruits with this kind of uh, variety. But today in Europe, most part, almost all the vineyards are grafted uh, because this is the only way to protect them from the phylloxera. Voilà. So, Working with a small vineyard like that, uh, 20 acres of ungrafted Pinot, it is unique. Uh, it is a great experience and uh, something that we'll try to keep for uh, the long term. Voilà. <laughs>